Hi, my name's Adam and I'm with the Garage Door Place. Today I'm going to show you the, the four points of lubricating the garage door. One, the garage door motor rail. Two, the garage door springs that are above the door. Three, the hinges on the garage door. And the bearings that are above on the torsion system, which you'll see in a moment. So first let's get started with greasing the motor rail here. I like to use on a screw driven model. Um, whether it be from Genie or LiftMaster, uh, the screw drives really like the white thicker grease. If you use a thin oil like WD-40 or silicone, it's going to thin out everything inside of it and it's going to get even louder and chattier. So I'm going to actually kind of feed the white lithium grease in here as the motor is running. And that's going to really help the chatter come down on the door. And second, WD-40 is fine. Silicone is okay as well. I like WD-40 for the springs and the hinges. Sometimes when I use a silicone spray, it actually leaves a film on the hinges that makes even more noise. So uh, for the most part, if you're trying to quiet down your motor, uh, just regular old WD-40 works fine. So lightly spray the springs once while the door is up and down. When the door completely raises all the way up. We're going to have a little bit of a gap in between the, the header and the garage door. And we can get up there and spray the spring lightly one more time. This will help us get the entire spring. Since the coil is twisting, this will get the WD-40 over the complete spring. Uh, next, we're going to oil the hinges here. I like to do it as the door is moving again, so it works its way in. So right here, if you get in close right here, right here is a good spot, is where the metal on metal contact is. And then inside of here, that helps a little bit as well. Some hinges have a, uh, a notch right there where you can actually spray just a hint of, of oil into it. But for the most part, just this. Down the line on all the hinges here. The one other part here, I'm just gonna grab the camera so I can show you a little bit closer where the bearings are on the garage door. Mm. Bearings are right up behind here. You can just stick the straw in there and just give it a little bit of WD-40. There's one on this side. And there's one on the opposing side as well. And either the middle of the springs are actually going to have another bearing or sometimes a plastic bushing. I recommend the bearings, but if you're able to, sometimes you can get in there with the straw just lightly. Not too heavy or it's going to drip all over the door. Now for our added little bonus I want to show you is sometimes if you get in close right here, I'll have complaints from customers that uh, the door rattles a lot and sometimes we can uh, help that out a little bit. Although this is a hollow door and every little sound is amplified, right here the garage door roller that sits in the shaft here is not entirely perfect and it kind of rattles around in here. So what we can do to resolve that is actually put a heavy duty grease in here that will keep this rattle down to a minimum. And a couple of ways of doing that is you could get the white lithium grease with the straw and squirt it in there. Um, usually that aerosol though is a little bit thin. So I like to use a little bit thinner stuff. If you can find uh, a mechanics grease uh, closer to a clear color, that's good. Most of the time you're only able to find the mechanics grease that's red or blue. So 
be sparingly on how much grease you do use in it. And to do it properly, I actually have to take the garage door roller out. So I'm just going to take the roller out of the hinge, out of the tracking actually, by just making one little bend here that we can easily hammer back into place. I'm just going to raise the door up slightly. put just a little bit of this thicker grease inside. We're going to work it in there from both sides just a little bit. It's a little bit messy. It's not my favorite thing to do. i rather keep it clean. But if the rattling from your hollow door is getting on your nerves, this is the way to fix it. Now that's back in. You can repeat the process for all the rollers. Be careful with the bottom if you ever do it yourself. I recommend you have a professional come out and do it. But be reminded that this very bottom roller here is under a lot of tension and usually doesn't have the same kind of shaft anyways so it's useless to take it out any. So you can just actually spread on this particular one a little bit of grease thicker grease into there and maybe work it in there with your fingers a little to just help that rattle that little bin we put in the track you can bend back just like that Look at it, now it's nice and straight again. And the one other part we didn't go over yet was oiling the track. Why we didn't go over it yet is because I don't want you to oil the track. I only want the track clean. Just like a sliding glass door, if the track is dirty, it's gonna make those rollers pop up and not work correctly. Brake parts cleaner. Or just regular WD-40 again is fine. Not to just leave in there, but to spray in there just to help clean it all off. You can continue that process, especially on these horizontal rails that tend to collect more dust and debris in the track right here. If you'd like to know more and get more tips, subscribe to my video or go to my website if you need service. It's jadorgle.com. It's spelled out G is in Google the word door, G-L-E, dot com. Thank you, and you have a great time.